want to level up as an HVAC technician, it starts with the everyday vocabulary we use on the job. Today, we're covering the terms that make you a better tech and a better communicator. What up, HVAC people? This is WWHVAC. I am the owner of Washington AC and Heating out here in Katy, Texas. This video is for apprentices, new techs, and seasoned pros who want to tighten up their communication on and off the job. So first, let's go over airflow vocabulary. It's what we call CFM. That's the airflow volume. You have static pressure. That's the system blood pressure. We have return air, air going back into the system. You have supply air, air blowing into different rooms from a diffuser. It just rotate. Whatever comes out must go back in. Uh, you have your plenum. That's your main air distribution box. Uh, bypass damper. And balance the airflow if you got like a zone system. Uh, airflow balancing, that's adjusting different registers or um, just for even comfort. Rule of thumb, probably should have one CFM per square foot. Uh, duct restriction, any block or undersized ducts. Let's go over some equipment vocabulary. Uh, you have your evaporator coil, a coil, slab coil, but that's just the indoor cooling coil. You have your condenser unit. That's the outside unit. It also has a coil in it. You have TXV. It kind of controls the refrigerant flow, but you also have a piston or fixed orifice. Uh, that's another metering device. Uh, you have your compressor. That's the heart of the AC system. We also have ECM motors. That's a variable speed motors. Uh, but you also have the PSC mode. I would say it's older single uh, single speed motor, but uh, they're still around. But now we get more efficient. You have uh, contactors. That's kind of like sen sending power to your unit once you get the signal. We have capacitors. Kind of helps the motor start. Uh, defrost board. It controls uh, the heat pump defrost. We have sequencers. It controls the heat strips. Uh, igniter um, starts the flame. You have flame sensors. Uh, it kind of confirms the ignition. We have draft inducers or inducer fan motors. It removes combustion gases. Um, we have limit switches. It's kind of like an overheat safeties. So that's some of your components for the AC and the heating system. Uh, let's go over some refrigeration vocabulary. I know we all know by now superheat, that's the vapor measurement. Uh, Subcooling, that's the liquid measurement. Uh, saturation temp, uh, phase and change points of the refrigerant. Uh, refrigerant charge, that's the amount of refrigerant. You got your low side, that's the suction side. That's the uh, it's kind of cooler or low pressures. You got your high side, uh, be on your liquid line, discharge line. That's high pressure. You also got your head pressure. That's high side pressure. Microns. That's a unit of measurement as far as a, a vacuum measurement. Very important uh, when you pull in a vacuum. That's removing moisture and air from the system. I will guarantee you don't have moisture or any leaks in your system. We try to pull it down to 500 micron. Let's go with supply house and part ordering vocabulary. We have wheel call. That's mean your part is ready to be picked up. Uh, we have back order. That means not in stock uh, locally. We have lead time. How long before a part arrives? Core charge. Deposit until the Old part is return. We have warranty exchange. Uh, I'm covering replacements. We have OEM. That's the original manufactured part. We also have aftermarket. It's, it's still compatible. Uh, it's a compatible alternative for the OEM. 
You have your counter ticket. Uh, that's the receipt from the supply house. Uh, picked and pulled, parts retrieved from shelves. Special order, it must be shipped in. A restocking fee, uh, charge for returning a part. Walk in order, buying without calling first. Bin stock, that's this common truck parts. Probably your capacitors, uh, contactors, transformers. Let's go uh, dispatch and field and office vocabulary. ETA, I mean, estimated time of arrival. One priority call, high urgency job. Call back, return for the same issue. Roll back, return for a new or unfinished work, pending approval, waiting on authorization. Especially when you're dealing with property matters or home warranty company, you got to get authorized or the customer may need to authorize. No cool, no heat. That means the system is completely down. Diagnostic fee or service fee as charged for troubleshooting. Service agreement. Preventive maintenance plan. Red tag. It's an unsafe system. So you may have a leak, a gas leak or something, and the uh, energy come and uh, shut the unit off. Retrofit. Updating using existing setup. Okay. Tech to customer communication phrases. Now, these are some phrases you can use. Okay. Based on my diagnostic findings, you complete the sentence. To maintain the integrity of the system, this is a safety related issue. Here are your repair and replacement options. This part is not stocked locally, it must be special ordered. We're waiting on approval to proceed. Now I want to give a very special shout out to the sponsor of this channel, WWHVAC Jobber, the CRM software that we use daily in Washington AC and heating. If you are a service-based business owner, it's HVAC, electrical, plumbing, garage doors, carpet cleaning, landscaping, any trade, Jobber will make your whole business easier. There's some quick benefits. You can send professional quotes and invoices in minutes, if not seconds. Schedule jobs and dispatch texts with zero confusion. Keep customer history and notes organized. Use Jabra automated follow-up to increase sales. Send maintenance reminders and seasonal promotion. Collect credit card payments on site. Build a, uh, just build a simple website right from Jabra. And Jabra Grow includes marketing, Google reviews, request forms, and AI tools. So if you're a service-based business, you're looking for a good CRM software, which means customer relationship management, click on my referral link in the description below. Try Jabra out. Uh, you get a 14-day free trial just to try it out, and you get a special discount if you do use my referral link. Uh, so try job for yourself and see how much smoother your business runs. Learning vocabulary helps you communicate clearly with customers, dispatchers, and management, tech support, um, over-the-counter sales at supply houses. The more articulate you are, the more professional you become. So like this video, subscribe to WWHVAC.
and check out my link uh, using Jobber. If, if you're a business owner or you uh, thinking about starting a business, go ahead and get you a good CRM software. But it's very important to have a good HVAC vocabulary. It's a book that I'm going to recommend. I always recommend it's the, refi the Modern Refrigeration Handbook. Start studying at least five to 10 voc uh, HVAC vocabulary words a day. And back of the Modern Refrigeration in back of the Modern Refrigeration Handbook, they have a glossary you can use uh, that, are, that really uh, help you out to try to learn different words. But like I say, it's going to be very important to be able to communicate with little things like tech support or your other technicians or your supervisors because they may not be there with you on the job. And if you're looking at a contact and you're telling them uh, you're looking at a transformer, uh, you got to know your vocabulary. Uh, tech support, they're not there right beside you. They're not looking at the equipment with you. They're just going by what you are uh, telling them. So you need to know what, what our meter leads. Um, you need to know what, what is voltage. You need to know, you need to uh, know how to express and communicate what you are checking and what you're looking at. So you need to know what, what terminals and stuff like that mean. What, um, uh, what the voltage is rating on the contactor, what is 240 volts, what is 115 volts, what is amperage. Very important to know those terms. They, they ask you, hey, did you check the amps? What is the amps? And you tell them uh, 240. They be like, wow, uh, I didn't mean 240. Uh, well, I didn't mean for you to check the votes. I need you to let me know what the amperage of the unit is. So. Work on their vocabulary. Good luck to all my future HVAC technicians out there. And be safe to all my technicians out there. All right, HVAC people, we out.